Good morning. Uh, for some time now, I, don't, I have not really said anything. I decided not to. And uh, people have been worried, asking me, you know, more talking, what's happening? I refuse to talk. Because some time ago, I asked myself certain questions. I asked myself certain questions. I remembered during Good Luck Ebele, Jonathan's uh, regime, when this Boko Haram issue came up, the present president, Mohamed Buhari, said that any attack on Boko Haram is an attack on the North. Then he wasn't the president, he was the leader of the opposition. Everybody saw it. Most newspapers carried it. Even when uh, Jonathan wanted to negotiate with the Boko Haram, the Boko Haram people said their representative would be Buhari. They appointed Buhari as their representative. Everybody saw it. At a point, when General Ihejirika, who was then the chief, uh, then chief uh, of army staff, descended on Boko Haram, some leaders from the north accused him of genocide. They even wrote to the United Nations accusing Jonathan and the Hedrika of genocide against the North. Some Northern governors and some emirs went to America to petition against Jonathan's administration that they were uh, annihilating the North. So I thought about all these things. Then I came back to myself. And asked myself certain questions. As a jail indeed, when I was to be conferred the title of a jail indeed, immediately after the death of our leader, Ormeh Buji, there were certain things I was told that I must defend the rights of any Boma, no matter what, that I must protect the Igbos, wherever I am, no matter the circumstances. Going forward, I remember that in 1999, I was a person that started the second Biafra struggle, the, the new Biafra struggle. I started it. Many of the people in the struggle today are either my direct children or my grandchildren. My direct children as people I recruited and trained who worked with me. Our grandchildren are those that they recruited, that the people I recruited recruited and trained. Among the people I recruited and trained was Nambi Khan and many other people, many other people who are still with me today. So, I began to ask myself the question, should I be the person to destroy the house he has built? Should I be the person to give out an evil man? Should I be the person to attack an evil man? Should I be the person to kill a fellow Biafra? I said no to myself. And I changed. I said I will never come out in the open again to criticize or condemn anybody in the Biafra struggle. 
in as much as I don't believe in violence, I'm a non-violent person. I maintain the non-violent doctrine. I went to India to understand Mahatma Gandhi based on non-violence. So I can never support violence. But when you come to look at it, for more than 23 years, I have piloted Biafra struggle through non-violence. I have not achieved anything because Nigerians and Nigeria is a don't believe in non-violence. Some people told me the language that Nigeria and Nigerians understand is violence. I said, well, but I'm not going to follow violence. Even some of these people now who are taken to violence are doing it because they believe that Nigeria and Nigerians don't listen to non-violence. And they are right. Then why should I stop them? Why should I stop them? If I have tried non-violence for over 20 years, it didn't work. Why should I stop somebody who wants to try another war, another way? Why should I be the person to stop him? He has a right, but I will not support him. I will never change from being non-violent. I will never change. But I will never come out openly again to condemn anybody. That was my decision. That was why, for some time, I have not even thought. That was why when some people were accusing me that uh, I, I have changed, uh, I remember when the Minister of Information, Rai Mohammed, accused the IPOB of killing innocent uh, some policemen. I came up against him. I made a video condemning him, saying, how do you know? Or how did you know that those who killed the policemen were IPO? So some of our people in the struggle were through their radio stations were blaming me, saying, making remarks. Uh, now some people are now saying, how do you know that the people who are killing people are IPOB? Uh, this and that. That's part of my decision not to criticize or condemn anybody again who is in the struggle. I didn't say anything. The other day, people are saying, ah, people are eating human flesh, cannibalism, this and that. Did you hear me say anything? I didn't utter a word. Because I have decided I can never come up, out again in the open to condemn anybody in this Biafra struggle. If you are doing the right thing in the Biafra struggle, I'll clap for you. I come up openly to clap for you. If you are doing the wrong thing, I will never come out openly to clap for you. But I will never come out openly to condemn you. That's my decision, my present decision. So, when even I do uh, the right things, like the time I, 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 I criticized uh, Lai Mohammed for what he did, nobody, nobody came up and uh, praised the Wazurike for supporting IPOB on that. Even recently, when I was doing Ojuku Memorial here, the wife of our leader, Dean Odmeg Ojuku Yom, came up to say that in one occasion I was calling Ibo leaders, asking them, are you going to abandon Namdekano? What are we going to do? What can we do? She said it. It's on record. Nobody, nobody from IPOB or from their uh, um, yeah. super uh, stars came up to say, oh, was we thank you for that. Too. No, they, they, because their brain has been washed with the anti was written mentality. Nobody said, not even any of their leaders said, oh, was we thank you for that. You people don't know what I'm really doing for you people. Because when I sit down, I, I ask myself, in this present situation now, what is the solution? What is the solution? I ask myself. I, I try to put people together, say, Biafran groups come together. 
forgive yourselves. I first was the first person said, I've forgiven African, I've forgiven anybody that has insulted me, betrayed me, or said anything against me. I've forgiven you because without forgiveness, nothing will be achieved. If you have in your mind that this person uh, killed you, this person talked against you, this person did this and that and that, the struggle can never move forward. To move the struggle forward, we must have to put all hatred aside put all the past behind and move forward and to put all the past behind and you have to forgive everything and forget about it. If I did not forgive or forget Nandika, I will forgive Nandika, I would put cause through to people. Do you know what I'm doing working for him? Am I doing it for him? No, I'm doing it for the struggle. I'm not doing it for IPOB or anybody. Because if I don't do it, who else will do it? If I don't save him, who else will save him? Some people who brought some video made by one woman, they say he's in South Africa, they say he's Oluchi Lloyd or what. I don't know her. <laughs> I don't have any business with her. I can't have any business with someone like her. Because she's too small to me. Too small in the sense that I have my, some of my children are senior to her in age. When I started, the, I, I look at her age as around the 30 years or thereabout. So I started the struggle in 1999. If she was 30, if she's 30 years now, 30 minus 23, she, she was about seven years when I started the struggle. But she, I listened to the video. She was somebody asked her to tie was written into onto what uh, um, Asali Dukubo said. Asali Dukubo said that he promised to smoke Nandikan out, and he succeeded in doing it. What has was written got to do with that? Did Asali Dukubo say that he and was written teamed up to smoke Nandikan out? Personally, personally. I don't support what Asari Dukubo said. I, 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 I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Maybe he said that out of annoyance. Maybe he said that out of annoyance, which he has not even explained the reason. But I know that some time ago, just a few weeks ago, uh, the leadership of IPOB took up uh, a press statement that Asari Dukubo and some governors had camps in the Niger Delta where they were training people. I don't know how valid that information was. I didn't go into it. That may be, I'm not speaking for Asari Dukubo, but that may be his annoyance if actually that was a fallacy or a propaganda. That is what I'm thinking. But I'm not speaking for him. Left for me, I don't like what he said. Anybody working against another person in the struggle, you are, de you are destroying the struggle. Any Biafran who is working against another Biafran, you are not doing that thing to that person you are working against. You are working against the struggle itself. So I take exception to what Asai Dukubo said as a person. As a person. I don't get anything that Nandikano is in prison and detention now. If I get anything, I will never, never call people to say, please, oh, let us all talk. Let us begin to talk oh, on how to free Nandikan. Why must you tie or was wicked to it, to what Asari Dukubo said? What is my business here? Asari Dukubo has been my friend. We are detained together in the, nine, in the uh, early 2000s. We are been friends. It doesn't mean that uh, he buys into all the things I do. At times he will tell, even call me and say, no, uh, uh, that's what, what he calls me. Uh, senior, senior brother. Uh, uh, senior brother what? Um, uh, I don't buy this. Even when we, we say together, we agree a lot. There are so many things I will say, he said, no, no, I don't buy into it. I also tell him, like this outburst he made of recent. I'm against it. I'm against the statement that uh, 
the people should rise up and uh, kill IPOB. Um, I uh, he was booked, uh, Namdekano out and all that. I know that he may not have done anything like that, but he is saying that or he said that out of annoyance. But it's for him to uh, explain himself. But I don't want anybody to tie me to something anybody says. Asai Dukuba is an ass adult. He was working with you people at, at some time. You put sent your men for him to train at some time. Did you ask me? That, was I there? Why must you tie me to what Asai Dukuba said? Because you can never, never see anything good about Wazuke because of how we are. We are heard and pray and have been programmed against Wazuke. Otherwise, this little girl now in South Africa talking against me. Have you met Rafa Wazuke before? Why should you be talking? To reason that even some people calling in, uh, in on her program, she was just linking with Wazuke, linking with Wazuke, linking with Wazuke. What, what, what is the problem with your people? What has Wazuke got to do with what Asari Dukubo said? Did I sit with Asal Dukubo? Say that I'm meeting with governors and Asal Dukubo planned against Namdekan. Namdekan was the person I recruited. When I recruited him, none of you was there. None of you, not even one of you, was in London. When I went to London, I picked him. You we are not there. If I didn't pick Namdekan, you people will not be talking about Biafra today. If I didn't start Biafra in 1999, nobody would be talking about Biafra today. Then why do you so much hate me? Because Namde Kano told you that I did this, I did that, I did that. Outside that thing he told you, have you ever, have you ever found out anything against me? But I said I have forgiven him because why wouldn't I forgive him? I'm a Christian. But please don't put me into anything you plan doing. If, even in my own organization, we, we have a democratic setup. I am not even into any of the setups. We elect our members. And you people should remember that I deserve some respect. I have a congregation of people. And you abuse me. The other day I suspended uh, my director of information because of few people that he came up to out of emotion, say something about Namdi Kandi. I suspended him. And I have warned them in my organization, nobody should speak against IPOB or anybody, any other organization. It's a standing rule. Have you seen any of my members coming up to talk against Namdi Kandi? Or do you think I don't have members? You people like to... I don't know. I don't know. And for a woman somewhere in South Africa, I don't know whether he's married or or divorce or single because i don't know people have lost their uh, have people have lost everything including uh, including what a woman should be a woman is saying hey, by the end of this uh, year aside the couple is not kid that's what one uh, the lloyd uh, Oluchi is saying Oluchi lloyd is saying you don't know the implications of the things you say. And you are in South Africa. We are here on ground. Come home now and stay with us and say it. Eh? Most of all these people causing all these problems are not here in, in Biafran land. You are away as fugitives in all these places, inciting violence here. You are not here. And you can never say what is right. And where am I going to make it? Huh? Kill, 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 kill. All the people you poor have killed. Are you not satisfied? You still want to kill more people. Have you gotten them there from by killing all this kill, 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 kill? And you are saying kill, 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 kill. You are not here. You are outside. These boys you are sending to poor kids, kid. do you know how many of them that have been killed? You don't ask after them. Now what for you people? I wonder the type of leadership IPOB has. You don't have even control over women. Look at it now. You are fighting against yourselves. Autopilot. You do kingdom. You do republic. 
you are you are not even fighting to say how do you resolve this internal conflict internal um, crisis existing among us you have not found resolutions to it you want to fight outside other people huh? and you forget that all these people you are point at killing fingers insulting they have also their own members Yeah, if uh, if uh, the leadership of uh, IPOB is effective, I don't think all these women will be given the chance to come up on, on the internet to insult people. We know what we do to regulate our members. But in IPOB, there's no such regulation. Everybody talks. That was, was why the exit of the country is becoming so glaring that uh, the place is now uncontrollable. Everybody comes on the internet and speaks. Do you think we are we 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 we, we permit our people to also behave like that? If, if you try it in beam myself, we, I, I will we will explain expel you immediately. Huh? Is that how to behave? Is that the type of Biafra we want? Where there is no decorum? Huh? In Ibo land, we don't regard uh, what why na ifu ego ane mwamene. Whatever I'm doing for the, in the struggle, it's not for anybody, it's for the struggle. It is my place to bring people together. Even if I have been offended, if I have been betrayed in the past, it's my place. And that is why, even some people now, they say, ah, Wazirika is now uh, citing IPOB. Wazirika is now protecting IPOB, asking, uh, how are you sure of the people who are killing our IPOB? See, the IPOB people are not uh, satisfied. If you had a good one, you will never praise it. But if somebody does his own thing, you bring Wazunike from the back to join that person. Why must you why must you be like that? What is my business with what I said the Kobo said? Huh? Please oh, you push your mind yourself. I have decided as a new policy. I will never come out in the media or the social media or in any media at all to criticize any Biafran group. I will never do it. If any Biafran group does anything right, I will come out and promote him and say what you have done is right. I like it. It must be based on non-violence. But if you do anything wrong through your violence, I will turn the other eye and see, say, pretend as if I didn't see it. I will never come out to praise you, but I will never come out to condemn you. I will keep quiet. Please don't bring me out. I will not like even to come out and talk again. But take it from me. There is, even if you are killing the Holy Ghost, Wazrike will not tell you, stop. I will never come out to criticize you, but I will never come out to praise you. Go ahead and kill everybody. We are watching you. Thank you.